We spent a lot of hard work when we I spent a lot of time. <laughs> ET and yeah. at the same time. Laying down on the ground at midnight. Yeah, sleeping. The thing that raised some eyebrows with people is when I dropped the information about Quincy Jones. This dude was one of the ones responsible. He had a magazine financed by Warner Brothers and arrested him. He set up sex rings in Hollywood. They were recording a new song called Billie Jean, and Michael Jackson had decided to fill every gap with his trademark whoops, clicks, and squeaks. Quincy Jones was kicking what looked like a pile of rags on the floor while shouting, Silent, you mother I said no squeaks. But is it really appropriate for a 44-year-old man to share a bedroom with a child who is not related to him at all? That's a beautiful thing. If you thought you'd seen the height of the entertainment industry's craze, let me be the first to tell you that things might have actually been worse in the 90s. But that's just what you get when you mix Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones. According to reports, the legendary pair were more than just fellow creatives. Oh no, seems they might have gotten down a lot outside of the studios. And while they were able to create magic out of thin air in the form of timeless records, reports have it that they were also involved with each other. In fact, it seems their personal involvements with each other might have been what actually led to them going their separate ways. I know it's a lot to take in all at once, so walk with me slowly for this one. Michael came over to my house. I'd met him when he was 12 at Sammy's house about, when he was about 12 years old. And I remember at the Academy Awards hearing Michael when he was little sing Ben, the love story about the rat. When a voice like Michael's meets talent like Jones, the resultant effects are explosive, timeless records. And if the pair are known for anything in the world, it is strictly that. However, just like every other legend, there are several other aspects of their lives the world didn't exactly witness. Case in point, their rumored romantic involvement. If you have even a tiny bit of interest in Hollywood, you must know Quincy Jones. He is a legendary producer, musician, songwriter, and so on. Thus, he is also given the title of the black godfather of the industry. Quincy Jones has produced for an impressive list of notable artists during his career, including Frank Sinatra, Aretha Franklin, and Rufus and Chaka Khan, and the most famous Michael Jackson, but this is not the only reason he has been hitting the headlines. For decades now, Quincy's S asterisk duality has been a topic of great buzz on the internet. Recently, Quincy spoke about his relationship with Michael Jackson, noting that their first meeting was actually before the singer was even a teenager. The 88-year-old musician and producer made the comments while speaking to The Hollywood Reporter as part of their new Icon series. When he was 12 at Sammy Davis's house, and he told me when we decided to do The Wiz, he says, I need you to help me find a producer. I'm getting ready to do my first solo album. The 28-time Grammy-winning producer said the young Jackson knew how to do his homework when it came to other artists, whether it was with Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly or whoever, James Brown. He was doing some Elvis copying, too. The king of pop. Man, come on. Seems like this was the birthplace of the rumors about the pair being involved, because if you think about it, it does seem a little unusual that fully grown man would have been so keen on working with a preteen. Well, from Michael's preteen days, the pair went on to become untouchable in the entertainment industry as they created records to last generations. Jones produced three of the most successful albums by the pop star Michael Jackson, Off the Wall, 1979, Thriller, 1982, and Bad. 1987. However, in the height of their success, things went sour between them. To some, the fallout was a result of their relationship not working out, while others strongly believe that it was pearly about the music. While Quincy himself did come out to say Michael stole from him and that he was cheated out of his royalties, I think the main reason for their split is their failed relationship. Now, none of Michael's relatives have openly come out to accuse Quincy of being involved with an underage Michael. But looking at Quincy's past and all the rumors he kept getting caught up in with other younger men, it doesn't seem like a particularly far-fetched possibility. Let me tell you something. That means Quincy's gay. Quincy might be on... You see, it has always been speculated that Quincy Jones forced men into gay relationships in exchange of making them famous and big in Hollywood. As scandalous as it sounds, the list of Quincy's hookups seems to be unlimited. But two of the names from Quincy Jones's Fling's history have always been the most discussed. These are none other than Tupac and Will Smith. It's been long rumored that Jones forced them into sleeping with him. This ambiguous relationship with Quincy affected them quite a lot as he tried to turn them gay like him. Look what type of nigga you was. You gonna let these little geek ass white boys uh, uh, feel on you like that? 
For those who may be aware, remember the interview of Tupac in which he exposed Quincy Jones of his S asterisk Azul advances. In the interview, Tupac revealed that Quincy asked him if he could stick it in his backside. But guess what? The interview was mysteriously wiped out from the entire internet. Only someone as influential as Quincy is able to accomplish a feat like that. Since Tupac is not alive to confirm the audio, Quincy must have decided to clean his hands from his dirty actions. Even Napoleon seems to deny all these rumors. In an interview, when Napoleon was confronted with the alleged relationship between Tupac and Quincy, he denied everything on spot and started defending Jones. Yeah, I think these definitely, them rumors about Quincy Jones and all that crazy stuff about Pac was definitely rumors. Pac was about to marry his daughter. But no matter how much they try to hide, fans still remember to this day each and every word of the Tupac interview. One person commented on it. I heard the audio of Tupac saying that about Quincy with my own ears about 10 years ago. Quincy is or was the key holder to the black music industry. Anyone at the top level had gotten there by partaking in his parties. Dre. But this is not the first time Tupac expressed his frustration on Quincy about his nasty actions. Back in the day, in an interview, Tupac lashed out on a lot of associates and made some daring remarks about them. Shot five times in jail for a crime I didn't commit, while every other black person, I mean, whoever they was fucking babies. So was he referring to Quincy Jones for making people submit to his fetishes? It might be true since Tupac and Quincy got quite close during his career. Maybe Quincy took that as an opportunity and decided to make his move on Tupac. They were close to the point that before his death, Tupac was even considering leaving his signed label Death Row Records to join Quincy's label. It was Keisha Cole who revealed a true story from the night of Tupac's unfortunate death in an episode of Fat Joe's Instagram series. Prior to his tragic murder in 1996, Tupac had planned to quit Death Row Records and sign with Quincy Jones's company, according to Keisha Cole. On a recent edition of Fat Joe's ongoing Instagram Live series, Cole revealed that MC Hammer first introduced her to Death Row. This is where she met Tupac and Shuji Knight, the label's co-founders. On the day he died, Tupac announced that he was leaving Death Row for Quincy Jones's label and invited Cole to join him. And um, he wanted to sign me to Quincy when he was with Kadada, Quincy Jones' daughter. And um, he was he was gonna leave Death Row and go to sign with um, Quincy. Unfortunately, Pac got shot that day in Las Vegas. But even if Pac is not here to reveal Quincy's involvement with their sexual experiences, Will Smith does confirm it true through his actions. Rumors have always been circulating like wildfire on the internet that Will Smith is now the gay gatekeeper of the industry after Diddy and Quincy. Now, since Quincy comes from a different generation, he must have had a hand in teaching Will and Tupac his gay ways. The now 80-year-old star exposed many secrets of celebrities and artists in an interview with Vulture magazine. While the interview started off with some not-so-good remarks about Mikael Jackson and Beatles, he then revealed that James Baldwin, Richard Prio, and Marvin Gaye are queer, to which he said, he was the most charming mother foo asterisk asterisk are you ever met. He'd foo asterisk K anything, anything. He'd foo asterisk K a mailbox. James Baldwin, Richard Pryor, Marvin Gaye. To these comments by Quincy, a YouTuber responded that Quincy himself is bisexual. He felt outraged by Quincy's remarks because it was not his place to reveal someone's sexuality. He asked this question to Quincy whether he is bisexual or not. Quincy Jones, if you always tell the truth, well, tell me this. Are you bisexual? But it doesn't end here, guys. He went on to reveal some more explosive information that would sweep you out of your seat. He claimed that he has a very attractive friend who has had multiple relations in Hollywood and one of them being none other than Quincy Jones. He even claimed that Quincy had slept with his friend multiple times and that at the age of 70 years old. That means Quincy has been in the closet for decades now and even been the gatekeeper of all industry men who are gay. Well, it is not the only thing that Quincy has been involved in. Apart from being the godfather of various black artists, he is also known to have been part of various cults and groups. A conspiracy theorist, Professor Griff, wasn't afraid to call out Quincy for being part of various Hollywood S asterisk X rings. I mean, it's pretty clear that Quincy has had a pretty colorful life, all things considered, which is why most people are inclined to believe that he and MJ might have also had something on the down low. And besides Quincy, there's also the fact that Michael was also caught up in more than a few sexual allegations of his own. Well, suffice it to say a lot of fans have been pondering this for a while now. 
and as you'd expect, they haven't been subtle with their thoughts on it. One user wrote, Tupac said Quincy Jones tried to have sex W slash him. I wonder did Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson had sex? Jones is a fruit. Maybe we'll find out the truth or maybe we won't. Only time will tell. That's it for today, folks. Goodbye.